to this uh, Portland, Oregon rally so that um, I can hear the people come alive. We want jobs! We want jobs! I think it's time for some change. We know it's wrong. We know it's corrupt. It's, it's getting pretty obvious just how corrupt things are and it's time to make some changes. And that's why I'm here. With all the people who've lost their houses and their jobs and the young students who can't find a career and the fat cats who are getting away scot-free. I'm here because I think it's kind of the beginning of a sort of mass rebellion in the United States, or at least it could be. And if it goes in the right direction, it could lead to lasting organization. There has been um, a growing divide in classes, and then our middle classes slowly disappear. And uh, we need a better health care system. Opportunity. Opportunity for everyone. I've been employed for like a year, and my family has struggled to basically provide a substantial living. I'm here to just understand why people feel so outraged, and I think it's totally valid. I just. I'm curious as to like the causes people believe are, I don't know, are responsible for the state of the world right now, the state of our economy, and people are talking about jobs, and I think it's interesting because the whole problem is our standard of living is too high, our currency is fake, the American dream is like a crop. I'm here for the people. I wish I could live in a village with you as my neighbor. That's it. There's been a long-term, decades-long trend of growing inequality. It's time for us to finish the job that Dr. King started. We need an economy that works for everybody, that brings dignity to everybody. The sixth, the eighth, the ninth, it don't matter, it's going all year, baby, we're going to be here all year, we're occupying this shit. It's time for the people to take back our country. We've had it. We're going to take it back. It's the time for the changing of the guards. We're sick of corporate control. We want to stop it. We want to stop the corporate breed. breed. I'm a retired teacher. My daughter's with me. Um, the banks are bailed out with trillions of dollars on the backs of the middle class Americans. And as a result, um, the lawmakers have decided to, to try to take away workers' rights. They've tried to strip out our savings. They try to nickel and dime us everywhere they can. They try to screw over the handicapped and the elderly. And I want a decent future for my children. I want them to have a working, That's what it's about. working wage job, just like I had when I got out of college. That's why I'm here. I'm here with the rest of my citizens. We don't appreciate the fact that our government has given out billions of dollars to banks. All the corporations that have left the common man, the common woman behind. Sister Credit Union months ago, months ago, I was tired of paying fees for shit I didn't need to be paying for. It was ridiculous. I'm here because I want to see democracy in action. I'm sick of corporate greed controlling my future and my country and the country that I would give to my children. Uh, time for the people to make themselves known by assembling feasibly for the redress of grievances. We have a coalition going with uh, all sorts of people, uh, veterans and labor unions and uh, all sorts of people that are finally uh, finding their voice and uh, so it's, it's about time. I like one slogan, uh, the beginning is near. And most importantly, I'm really worried because a corporation is an individual and they are not. And our democracy is disappearing and so is our middle class. So we're here to demand for justice and demand accountability and create the safe uh, and just communities uh, by protecting ourselves. And so then you have um, you know, anti-immigrant laws that um, 
basically create conditions for corporations to come in and make money off of undocumented immigrants through laws like um, Arizona's SB 1070, 287G, and all these other laws that are propping up throughout the United States. So we're talking to, to people about how our struggle is related to what corporate America and Wall Street is doing. And so we're handing out these uh, brochures where it talks about the money trail, where the money is going when an, an immigrant is housed in one of these for-profit private detention centers. And if we stand together, not only as a city, but also as a country for fairness and equality, that is how we send the message, and that is how we will make true change. of wealth and income that we have in this country right now. You know, the, the rich have more than they've ever had before and the inequality is just out of proportion. It's just, it's beyond, you know, it's, it's just inappropriate. It's just not right. You know, that people don't have enough money to feed their kids or get a good education yet. These people are still, you know, making millions of dollars in tax breaks. It's just not right. I've seen the good times, and I've seen the bad, now I'm looking at the ugly in this country called America. I am totally ashamed of the Congress, and the President, and all the other representatives that we have in this country. And I wanted to come here and let the people know that on December the 18th, there will be long walk for human rights beginning at Alcatraz Island on behalf of the people. We'd love to have the support of everyone in this country. And as we go across this country, we'll be doing our best to wake the country up and all its people so they can find their voice and be one again with each other and the rest of the world.